reliability test for multiple choice question exam in SPSS using the Cron Pax Alpha formula. Reliability test measures the internal consistency of items and the scores consistency. If a same group of students repeated the same exam with the same questions, multiple choice questions at different occasions, their scores in both occasions will be similar, i.e. the exam or the test will be consistent and the scores will be consistent and the um, exam or test will be reliable. So there is a consistency of scores between those two occasions. So reliability test based on Chromepax Alpha assess the exam and the test based on the uh, equation below to determine the reliability of the test. This equation is equal to k divided by k minus 1. k stands for the total number of questions. Then multiplied by a bracket 1 equal uh, within the bracket 1 minus the sum of the variance for each individual questions divided by the variance for the total score. Here in SPSS I have a data extracted from an exam result for 10 students answering 15 multiple choice questions and the score for each question is recorded as either 1 or 0. 1 stands for correct answer, 0 means wrong answer. So these data here are dichotomous data, that means a binary data, only two options, correct or wrong. And to determine whether these tests that have these questions in it are reliable. So we're going to do reliability tests based on the Chromebox Alpha and based on the formula just described shortly. And to do the test, the first step is to calculate the total score achieved by each individual participant or student and that can be done by combining all the scores for the 15 questions answered by each individual student and to do that is to click on transform compute variable and then in the window for target variable we're going to call it total score and the total score is the sum of all the scores achieved by each individual student and to use the command for the sum we will click on the function group all scroll down to statisticals and then in statistical select the command or the function for the sum drag the sum to here to this numeric expression box and then uh, insert the variable one by one between those bracket separated by comma so we're going to insert the first variable and then separated by comma the second variable and then comma a third variables and so on until we uh, we insert insert the whole variables that we want to 
add or combine together so we need to make sure that we keep the separate the um, variables with a comma when we enter them another comma here 11 question 11 12 so we need to make sure that there is always a comma between variables right so if we click on ok uh, a new variable is generated in a column for a new variable is generated in SPSS and I'm going just to do some editing on this uh, variable by clicking on the variable review and then I'm going to decrease the decimal point to zero and I'm going to convert that uh, measures into scale and I'm going to center that make it into the center and I'm going to reduce the column into four so to make make it neat and tidy so now we have calculated the total score for each individual student participated in the exam and following the alpha equation here from back alpha we need to calculate the variance for the total score and to calculate the variance for the total score for this variables we click on analyze scroll down to descriptive click on frequencies in the frequencies we are going to determine the variance for the total score so we drag the total score score to the variable box click on statistics in the statistics statistics box we're going to select the variance click on continue as we only interested in the value for the variance an output from SPSS generate two tables one of the tables says that we have 10 participants and the variance for the total score is equal to 24.84 so if we double click on that and then highlight that and select the numbers copy and then bring it here to this PowerPoint and I'm going to place the variance for the total scores in this place here and I'm going to decrease this by one decimal so we have calculated the total the variance for the total score the next step is to calculate the variance for each individual questions and then add them together to do that here in this SPSS we're going to select the data and do a transpose to calculate the variance for each individual question and the way to do that is to click on data transpose and on this small window select control a select select all and transfer them into the variable box and then click on ok and the data has been transposed in a way that all the questions now are in rows and all the students are now in columns so i'm going to do a few editing here before i proceed with the, the further calculation so what i will do i'll click on the variable few and i'm going to decrease the decimal into zero so i'm going to make uh, all the values for zero decimals and i'm going to change the uh, measures for each variable to scale every one of them make it scale and then I'm going to center center the 
data into the center of the columns so selecting this and then all centers and I'm going to decrease the column width into make it four and another modification I'm going to do is also rename the columns for the students so to do that is to to click on control F and use the replace function and I'm going to type the VAR0 and replace that with S for students and I'm going to do that for all the variable and to do that I first has to have to select select all the variables click on replace all so all the variables has been renamed click on close back again to data view now the data look looks more neat and tidy so now we have already calculated the variance for the total scores now we need to calculate the variance for each individual questions here from question number one to question number 15 and the way to do that is to click on transform compute data and then we're going to call that the var variance for the questions so variance for the each questions and to do variance for each questions we're going to select the uh, command variance from the function group if we click on all and then scroll down to statistical and then in statistical in the box below select the variance drag the variance into the numeric expression and again we are going to calculate the variance for each individual um, students so we're going to use uh, for each individual questions and if we're going to use the variables from student number one to ten and the way to do that again is to insert the first variable and then separate it by a comma and we do the same for the rest until we reach the S10. If we click on OK, a column will be generated for the variance for each individual calculated for each individual question. And uh, I'm going to do some editing here for the variance is to make it center and make it scale and reduce the decimal into zero. So I'm going to get rid of this value for the totals. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep the uh, decimal by two as we are here, uh, we're having decimals. So we'll retain the decimals, two decimal points so we can see the variance here. Here, this is the variance for each individual questions. Now we need, following this formula here, we need to add all these variance for each individual questions together and the way to do that is to click on analyze descriptive frequency and there we're going to select the the uh, variance for questions drag it to the variables click on statistics and then select the sum because we are going to add all add all the variance for all the questions together so if we click on continue then click on ok again the variance for the 15 questions has been calculated and found to be 3.8 and i'm going to select this or select this uh, copy it and or just type it here 3.8 3.8 now we have 
most of the component required for calculating the chrome back alpha ready so the next step is to divide these figures to find out the product so to do that i'm going to use a calculator calculator here using the calculator to divide 3.8 over 24.84 equal to 0.152 or 0.153 then subtract this figure from 1 1 minus 0.153 equal 0 0.847 0 0.847 then multiply this figure with k which is the total number of questions divided by k minus 1 which is 14 and the total number of the questions are 15 here so 0.847 multiplied by 15 divided by 14 equal to 0.9 or 0.91 so this figure or alpha value of 0.91 means that the test or the exam is 91% reliable or 0.91 reliable. The value for the alpha or the Chromeback Chromebox alpha range from 0 to 1. 0 means that the um, test or the exam is not reliable and 1 it means that the exam is extremely reliable so in this case 91 percent the exam is reliable so this is the way to perform reliability tests in SPSS for a multiple choice question exam using the formula or the equation for the Chromebox alpha which is equal to k divided by k minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus the sum of the variance for each individual questions divided by the variance for the total score to get the value for Chromebacks alpha. So Chromebacks alpha is one of the method to evaluate the exam the multiple choice exam questions quality